Hi everyone, I'm Rebecca Keppel and I'm here for Scrapbook Circle and this is my first process video and the reason I decided to do one this time was because this is one of my favorite types of layouts to create where I use a background die cut um, of white cardstock and play with inserting different types of pattern paper and embellishments and things like that. And I love doing this with Scrapbook Circle layouts because they have tons of really great embellishments in them. So I cut out a background with my Silhouette Cameo and I decided to make it smaller than 12 by 12 so that you could see lots of the pattern paper in the back. I really liked the little dots and circles and I wanted to be able to see some of them on the border. Now I'm just trying to figure out where I want to put some photos and and where I'm going to put some pattern paper. And the way that I do that is by punching out some circles. This is, to me, the easiest way to fill circles on a die cut background is to use your punches or dies or whatever you have that you can make some circle shapes really quick and easy. And some of them will have little borders and that's fine. If you want it perfectly cut to the inside, you can, of course, use the negative space from from your die cut but I think this way is so much easier it goes a lot quicker and during the holidays who doesn't want to save time so I've decided that I'm going to glue down my background here and now I'm going to start playing with punching out some of the photos and I like to have at least a few varieties of sizes of the photos and of the pattern paper but for photos I don't want to go too small so this is the smallest size punch that I'm going to use for my photos and I think some of them have been taken far enough back that it actually works just fine. Most of them, I do like this larger size circle so that you can actually see who is in the photo. And this photo is all about our puppies. We have eight month old, uh, half Labrador, half Weimaraner puppies. And so I hadn't really done a layout recently about them and just wanted to have a bunch of the little photos that I take mostly with my phone actually of them and me and my daughter, cause we really, really are close to the puppies, really love them a lot. So that's what I'm doing now, just kind of figuring out where I'm going to put my photos and so then the other empty spaces will be filled with both pattern paper and fun embellishments. So I'm just moving things around. I like to have them sort of scattered and it can be tough if you have only a few sizes that you can play with. I don't want them all crammed in one corner. I kind of want them floating throughout. So now I'm kind of happy with that layout of the photos and now I'm going to use some pattern paper. I'm using the Crate Paper six by six paper pad that was in scrapbook circles add-on kit this month and the reason that I like to use a six by six pad is because the designs are smaller and so if you're punching out small circles this is a great way to fill them with a bunch of different patterns that all coordinate together because they're all part of one collection Honestly, though, if you're using a kit like I am from Scrapbook Circle, you can use the 12 by 12 pattern papers in the kit as well because they've all been picked to coordinate together. And I have actually done layouts like this with my Scrapbook Circle kits just using the 12 by 12 pattern papers because uh, Lisa Andrews, the owner of Scrapbook Circle, is really brilliant at picking different brands, um, colors, and designs that really coordinate very well together. So I've pulled in a larger punch here because I did want some of those big circles to be covered and I like the way some of the circles fit inside the pattern paper fits inside the die cut and some lay on top and some there's no border at all I really like a mix of things like that so now that I have at least let's see I think I'm going to end up with four or five large circles and that gives me a lots of space to kind of play around with a title and other embellishments some three-dimensional things so that's what we're going to start working on next and then I changed my mind and I decided that I wanted all the smaller circles except for the tiniest ones. I wanted all the medium sized circles um, to be filled in with pattern paper. So I, I'm going to leave the very smallest of the circles open and I'm going to leave any of the half circles open and that will give you enough of the background pattern paper and color to kind of ground the whole layout because there's a lot going on inside. So I think it's really nice to have that dark border and then some bits and pieces of it in the layout as well. Now I'm going to take my embellishments and I have the Maggie Holmes 
embellishments here. They have the sort of wood buttons and some just three-dimensional stickers and things. I have that little bow. And once I've started, then I realize, okay, now I'm happy with where everything is. And that's when I actually glue things down. So I'm using my uh, ThermoWeb Memory Runner XL. I use that for the border as well. It's great if you just use a little bit at first, um, you'll be able to still move things a little bit. So if you don't use too much of the adhesive in the beginning, You'll be able to slide things around or even peel things up and move it around. Once it sits overnight, it's it's there to stay for sure. So I am careful to just use a little bit at first when I'm still trying to make some decisions as to where everything's going. I'm pretty sure that this is where I'm headed, but just in case, I think it's always good to give yourself a little leeway to change your mind. Okay, so now I have pretty much all the pattern paper glued down, and now I'm going to start bringing in some other embellishments. And this month there were the Jilly Bean Soup Wood Veneer, and I love these. They're super, super cute. And I think you get the whole pack this month. And maybe it was in the add-on, I'm not sure. And then I'm going to go back to those Maggie Holmes three-dimensional stickers. I think those are so fun. One of them is just an enamel sticker, and it fit right inside the circle. So some of those smaller circles, I did end up filling with embellishments and that's why I didn't feel like it was worth, you know, punching out tiny little pattern paper circles. Here I'm back to some more jelly bean soup that was included this month and this is those word stickers and I love these because their script font is really, really pretty. It's kind of like a brush lettering font and I think it's a lot of fun. So I'm going to take actually three of these and put them in three different areas, three of my larger circles. The great thing about this type of layout is you can make visual triangles all over the place, and that's what I try and do. So each of the words that I'm using are pink, and so that creates one other visual triangle. I have wood veneer in a visual triangle. I have that mustard yellow in a visual triangle. So it just kind of moves the eye around the page if you're thinking about making triangles with pretty much everything that you do. I found this really cute strip uh, sticker. It's like a phrase. So I'm going to put that along the bottom. And now I'm thinking about my title. And I left that sort of wood grain pattern paper open just for my title. So I have a love sticker. And then I'm going to go back to the Jilly Bean. The love was from Bella Boulevard. I'm going to go back to the Jilly Bean and I'm going to put some of the alphas down. So the title will say we love our pups. And I like this kind of a title that's like a mixed font. So that's one reason that I like to use two different either stickers or companies depending on what I have available in the kit. And I also like adding another pop of yellow like that. So that's why I added those little alphas there. So now I'm just kind of again moving around some of the wood veneer and I'm going to take a couple more stickers. Those little circular stickers from Jelly Bean Soup actually fit right in the circles. So I found one had a little dog and that was perfect and then I decided to use the little flowers as well. And now I'm just going to go in with some of the little stars and hearts. These types of sticker sheets are great for this kind of a layout because really you can just layer and layer and layer and have lots of fun with it. You can put them on the borders, you can put them within the circles, and I'm just trying things out, seeing how it goes. So again, I'm going to have another little phrase up there, and you'll see that that's another visual triangle. I'm going to start adhering my wood veneer. I'm going to use Ranger Multimedia Matte. Uh, this is a great adhesive. I have changed the tip of it, so it's a really fine line tip, which makes it really easy to go behind those tiny little hearts. If some of it squishes out on the side, it's going to dry matte, so you won't see it, and that's why I like that adhesive. So I'm just going back, adding some more stickers. It's hard to tell when you're done. That's the only thing about these layouts. But the best part about it is that they're just fun to make. So I'm grabbing a little tab from the stickers and then one of those Maggie Holmes tabs as well. But I'm going to use that to write the date. And that's going to be the only journaling I have for this layout. This layout is for me more fun. But, you know, I did include, what, seven photos on this layout. So it's a great way to include tiny photos phone photos, and then just to play and play with lots of embellishments and have a lot of fun. So I've added a little piece of washi tape, and I'm going to put some phrase stickers on top of that. And that pretty much completes my layout for this month's kit. I hope you've enjoyed watching me create it, and thanks so much for stopping by.